take a look at this screenshot. The comment recommends you to visit their website to see the updates of all TV's latest shows. But when you actually open this link, the latest news you'll see about the network is from September 9, 2022. Worse, the same website doesn't even show their current programming lineup. In a way, this is the perfect way to describe the current situation of all TV six months since their launch, an inconsistent network with an identity crisis. Now, with reports of original shows taking a pause on production, it looks like they're still miles away from breaking out in the industry. What happened to all TV? All TV is a Philippine free-to-air broadcast network owned by Manny Villar's Advanced Media Broadcasting System or AMBS. The businessman and real estate magnate purchased AMBS back in 2021 as the effects of COVID-19 pandemic continued to hit various sectors. After months of news and rumors, the network finally launched in September 13, 2022. To be fair to the network, what they did back in September was a soft launch and they even revealed that they will have a grand launch in early 2023. It will also really take a long period of time for them to build the necessary infrastructure and content to compete with the bigger networks. Nevertheless, while it's easy to put the blame on politics, there are some fundamental issues within the network that they haven't fixed six months since their soft launch. It's surprising for a company owned by a known figure fail to even have a good tagline or pitch for its television viewers. Let's listen to Willier Villemes' speech on the network's launch. Simula na po ng oras ng ligaya, oras ng saya, pagbibigay ng kasiyahan at pag-asa sa bawat Pilipino. Ito po ang network ng bawat Pilipino. That's a pitch you can hear in every single network. Who exactly are they targeting? It seems like they embraced all to a certain extent judging from their primetime lineup alone. Their talk show Tony wants to be a sophisticated and heartwarming show aimed for an upscale audience. This is followed by CNN Newsnight, an evening English news program. Then, Willie owns the screen for one and a half hour with Wawa Win aimed for a more mainstream audience wanting to win prizes such as cash and house and lot. And before they call it a day, the network airs a Korean drama and the replay of an ABS-CBN acquired series. They really want all to watch their new network but one can feel a person will switch channel after watching one specific show they want. In a competitive television industry, you need to stand out already right from the beginning to find an audience. Becoming another ABS-CBN just because ABS-CBN went off air doesn't feel like a great idea. And their lineup basically is the same as the one Net25 currently has. At least Viva Max is focused on their target market. Take for example, two of their first original content are talk shows Tony and Miss on a Mission. ABS-CBN, GMA, and Net25 already saturates the market with their own talk shows, and almost every single known celebrity on YouTube is doing a talk show-esque content. Even funnier, Tony Gonzaga still has her own Tony Talks show going on YouTube. From the beginning, they're not making themselves stand out so why would people watch their network? They're not even controversial enough for people to talk to and tune in. Relying on star power is a proven concept, but the stars in their talk shows are not even the biggest to rely on this current era. Production of their originals is very mixed. Tony is a well-produced afternoon talk show with a very homey setup and solid camera work. It really feels like Tony brought her full YouTube channel team to her television show. On the other hand, Mies on a Mission feels like a vlog. Even in fear to them sometimes, it makes you wonder, why is Tony's fake setup better than their actual home setup? And don't get me started on Wawa Win, which is way in fear in production. It feels like an amateur recording of your company's Christmas party with your boss just calling people. Six months in, production should already be streamlined among their original content. Sure, production vary as the big names bring their own team, but the network should be giving notes to them to ensure quality production. All TV is not yet fully dead. In December 2022, Manny Villar revealed that the network is targeting to go to a full nationwide reach by March 2023. Again, this is due to the needed infrastructure that's not yet finished. With this, more people can have the option to tune into their network. Let's also not downplay TV's presence to Filipinos. According to Kantar Media, 89% of Filipinos are still reached by TV. But most importantly is the attention to quality. Content is king. With a lot of better options now on traditional TV and streaming, all TV needs to focus on its target audience and make quality content for them. While they don't really need to be truly the best to break out, they still need to be talked about in a good way. 
For that to happen, the Villiers may have to burn a lot more money before finally fulfilling their entertainment sector dreams. However, it doesn't look like that will be the case. Can all TV survive in the streaming era? Share down your thoughts below and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to CBO for more local content.